And yes. continuing our Amazing Race Season 34 coverage. Of course, if I'm talking Amazing Race, I can't do without my partner in crime. The winner of Amazing Race Season 29, Brooke Kamhai, is here to help me talk hey, with Team Miami. We got Lewis <laughs> and Michelle in the building. Welcome yes. to the Purple Love Pants it. Podcast. That yes. is an energy. I'm a fan Thank of you. the energy. This is our first interview of the it season. It is. Oh. Nice. You popped our cherry. Oh. Christ, we better be good. Our, our cherry's purple. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Lewis is actually so happy the moment they asked. And if it and since it was you as well, after he heard you talking about the ice thing, he was like, this has to be my inter first interview. <laughs> yes. And you know what's crazy is, so um, after, obviously, we, we became friends with Derek and Claire. And we asked Claire, like, what's a good Survivor season? Because we've never seen Survivor. She says season 28. <laughs> so we started watching season 28. I like it. I, I loved it because you also have David Sampson. Yes. He's uh, the president of the Marlins. And I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is great. And then you were on it. You, you're, you know, you didn't last too long. But, <laughs> but we loved you, man. We were rooting for you. So it, it, it's what a co coincidence, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, I appreciate that so much. And I guess I yes. had a question. But now, listen, I got to move where how the interview goes. <laughs> Yes. Lewis, I need to know, <laughs> what did the ice do to you? Like, I mean, what? Like, I just got to know, because the way, did, did did you have past history with the ice? Did you know the ice from back home? Like, what did that ice do to you? Please. <laughs> I blacked out. I don't remember. Honestly, like, they, I, I just picked the heaviest uh, tool in, in, the, in the toolbox, and... All of a sudden, I had the clue in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> I legitimately it. feel like you would make an excellent serial killer. Like you <laughs> would be yes, a great yes. axe murderer. It was, it it, was. I've never seen anything like this. Yes. I'm a like champ. <laughs> yeah, right. You might see me on a Netflix uh, documentary pretty soon. Uh, listen, <laughs> Michelle, blink twice if you okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Uh, so when I got there, I was like, "There's a roadblock." I have some time. I opened up my map, and then all of a sudden, I hear, brah, brah, and that wasn't it. Molly was there. That noise was not coming out of Molly. So I turned around, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, that's Lewis. And I'm like, that's my yeah. husband. Who <laughs> break that ice? <laughs> that's mine, and I'm a stick beside him, OK? <laughs> I was like, just got the clue. I don't know how you do it. But he did it so fast. I opened up my map and I closed it right away and we left. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, so what did you two find to be the hardest part of the amazing race? Was it the constant going? Was it, it I don't know if there are going to be any language barriers. Was it not speaking certain languages? Was it being around each other all the time, every day, all day? Was it the physicality? I don't think it was the physicality now that I'm asking <laughs> yeah. it. I have to say um, just, especially the first leg, it had to be just navigation. Mm -hmm. So much uh, navigation um, and, the, and the second leg, once again, we're going from one country over to another. Um, and I think you'll agree on that, right? Just it's, oh, it's like the unknown. So just doing the race for the first time and not knowing how you're going to feel or what they're going to give at you, you know, so it takes like a second to kind of adjust to that. And we practice all of that. We learned uh, different languages, like different words in different languages. We did everything, navigation, yeah. stick, everything. We practiced uh, darts, like everything that you could think of that's random, like we did. Cardio, puzzles, all of that stuff. Um, but it is different in another city. And like, for example, in Germany, the same street, the exact same street on one side, it's called like Klomberstrabe, and the other one is Robert Strave. She so made up those words. Yeah. They're two different. I thought it sounded real. It sounded yeah. totally, yeah. yeah. They, they, they're two different names. So it's like, if you're looking to the left and the street will be to your right, even though it's the same street. Yes. <sighs> How did you, Michelle, manage? Because, you know, I, I would like to think that I'm okay at maps. You know, a little normal size maps. But it seemed like those maps, like Lewis was driving and all I could see was just the map in the back seat of the car. Like, how were you able to get that together? Because that would have took me out. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> the first day folding a map. They should oh, make a yeah. course. They should make a map folding course. Yeah. I forgot who mentioned that on, on the Amazing Race. Was it Penn last year? They they like <laughs> there should be a course of how to fold a map. 
because that's so crucial. It's like, and if you don't fold it right, it gets too wrinkled and you can't, you can't see where you're going. Um, I, I think our first leg, it was not good. Our, our mat folding, but no. second leg, she, she got it down. But even navigation wasn't even that hard in the first leg. I, I don't want to say that it's not that hard. It was hard, but we knew where we were going. We knew what streets we were taking. We took the wrong route in the wrong way. So you start to get traffic. You start to get one ways and you go have to go around. And if you didn't take the, the correct pathway, because there's a lot of one ways. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was navigation wasn't too hard, but it, it's just like the like the unknown. And then it's funny because Will and Abby in the second episode, they decided to follow us. Their Germany map was in a huge like oh ball. Do you remember my that? Gosh. Yeah. Yes. So and we, they stuck it in their book bag. Yeah, we got yeah. we got directions and they were gonna follow us. And they made it seem like we were lost for hours. We were only off a street by like two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> they did make it seem like you were lost for a while. So yes. it's nice, a little behind the scenes. Yeah. The you commercial get, break. Get used to it. it. Yeah. And it's her thing. So I can, I don't know. You don't get to see it before it airs. So yes. yes. Listen, Brooke, I, okay. We talked about this in the interview. The audio guy was like, Lewis, talk about how great your wife did navigation. Right. And I, he was like saying all good things. This is in the second episode. We're so excited for this episode. We went from 10 to fifth. We did good in the challenges. We did great navigation. All my airtime is we're lost. <laughs> Girl, I hear you. They took out all my happy. So I hope for your sake, they show you're happy for however long it is that you last on the race. Because I, I will say Bryce and I were talking in episode one and we're like, and I'm like, I know there are a lot of the dancers, and but like there wasn't a ton that stood out. I love you guys. Now we yeah. saw episode two. I'm like Team Lewis and Michelle. Like <laughs> just your the yeah. way that you sort of like beasted through the challenge. Now, granted, you're very musical. At least Michelle is. I, I don't know Lewis. Maybe you also are. It's just you're a firefighter, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have to assume the professional dancer is musical. So these probably. Um, played to your strengths but did you guys decide before you went you know who was going to do which type of roadblocks for example or one is one of you like a very adventurous eater is one of you a heights person did you guys have this were you ready to go and did it play out that way uh yeah so physical challenges right uh she loves heights adventurous okay. things you know, in our audition video, she wanted to do bungee jump this yeah. season. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, eating will be me. Puzzles will be her. Okay. Uh, Memory would be me. Memory will be her. Uh, needle in a haystack, me. Like we went through all types. Anything with all hair types. gel and hair, Lewis. Shaving okay. the head, she's gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not shaving my head. Okay, wait, let's talk about this. We said that if there was, what is it called? When I a fast that, forward. Yes, fast forward. If they were to do a fast wrong. forward ever again, like shaving of the head, I would be like, okay, already shaving my head, and Lewis would be crying nope. in the corner like, no, we can't do this. So, oh, good for you. It's funny y'all say that, because I was, you know, I watched the episodes, and you know, when Lewis came out with his, the bandana, I said now, Lewis' hair is slicked back, and it's slicked back like it's perfectly. I was like, okay. So what I wanted to know is getting ready in the morning, who takes longer, Lewis or Michelle? <laughs> I, do we have our answer? Do we have our answer? Uh, it's, it's just that Michelle, down here in Miami, uh, girls girls really get done up. So Michelle beats me by like, uh, she she takes longer, but it's like two minutes, you know? <laughs> well, she does it all. She does it all. But yeah, that you know, Bryce, that's one of the hardest things about the Amazing Race that I didn't think about. I don't have a barber. I get a haircut every six days. Who, you know, and and yeah, it was it was yeah, and, and I'm already a week in, and the race just started. Right? Did you, you bring clippers on the race? You didn't bring oh, hair clippers. Was on Michelle the race. shaping you I up? Didn't. Okay, good. Because that's uh, a waste Q, of time. Q had <laughs> Q with Q and Maddie, the cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. He had. His eighty dollar face cream, cream. He had his <laughs> clippers. Every day, Lewis was like, "Come on, you gotta help me. <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom or something." <laughs> yeah, in our first flight, I was like, "Man, can I borrow your clippers?" But I'm like, "Where am I gonna get myself a haircut?" But yeah, 
I'm not so the airplanes you, bathrooms are for. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Hair all over the bathroom. I'll so still, still. basically my item that I was like, I want to take, but it's not for the race technically was I brought like a curling iron that was like this small. I brought a hair straightener that was this small. Okay. It worked for eight seconds until you were outside. You walked outside in Brazil or whatever. And then you were just like, Pfft. so like there was no point in carrying it, but it felt good to have. So what I want to know is what is the worst thing? Like if we're doing an eating challenge from each of you for your partner, what is the one horrible thing that if they found it in their croquetta, they would not eat it. <laughs> um, Man, I'm trying to think about past races. Um, it doesn't even have to be something gross. Last yeah. season, we saw the twins wouldn't eat an onion. So <laughs> is there anything in particular that it just, it would be over? You'd be like, I'm taking a penalty. I can't eat this. Um, you know, it's, it, that's, a, that's a great question because we are very, um, we're very open. It's like we, we've traveled, for example, to Thailand yeah. and we've tried their food over there. Like we're very open to trying new food. Um, I hate frogs, but I've eaten frog legs. Like, I don't mind it. Um, I think I would say, like, probably moving things or, yeah. like, like if you taste yeah. feet or something. Like, I bring, give me anything. But if I'm putting a cockroach, even if it's fried to my mouth, I'm like. But That'll be pretty gross, we cockroach. did bring, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait. I was going to say we bought photo. So Vic's Vapor Rub we okay. brought, right? And we're going to take it just in case. Here in Miami, because of our grandmothers that are Latin, we call it Viva Peru. <laughs> It's like a Spanish way of saying it because they don't know how to save Vicks Vapor. Okay. <laughs> um, basically, so we we're going to like, if we had an eating challenge, like put a little bit there and just. Okay. just that's an amazing it. tip. I brought it also in case there was something that smelled horribly. I was going to put it, but that's very smart. Yes. We never. Eat, well, that's all right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe you used it. Maybe you didn't. Sorry. Maybe you had to eat and you just beasted it without it. That's fine. Maybe yes. Lewis you know ran what? out a little gel. He, you know. A lot of like challenges in general, you don't think of what you brought. Like you're just going in there. You're running in there. So I don't even think we used anything. Yeah, right. We just ran in there and yeah. just did it. Being from Miami and with like your background, like was there anything that you wanted to represent while you guys were on the amazing race? Like, did you have this conversation? Like, you know what, we want to make like our grandmoms proud. Like, was like what was your thought process going into that? Cause one, I love to see the diversity and I like seeing you guys. I was like, that's my family right there. So, like, what uh what was like it for you? What do you feel like you brought on the show? Yeah, our parents. Mm -hmm. We're doing for our parents. Uh, we we are the first generation Americans in our family. Yeah. Um, my, my sisters, her, her brothers, um, we're the first to have a high school degree, college degree wow. in our, in our family. We're first generation. And, and yeah, my, my parents, the stories my dad says, my mom came from Colombia when she was, I forgot what age, young. My dad came from Puerto Rico. Um, yes, Puerto Rican are U.S. citizens, but he came over here with nothing and they worked in a shoe factory. You know, they, 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 they sacrificed so much for us. And we said in our audition video, like, this was for them. And and they're so proud to see us. Like, my mom has been crying every minute of the show yeah. so far. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. we really wanted to repay it for them. He's Colombian, Puerto Rican. I'm Colombian, Peruvian. My dad as well, same story, came with nothing. My mom yeah. either. He came to New York, solely working little jobs just to give us the opportunity. Like, we didn't have to face anything that they did. We had a comfortable life. We didn't have a rich life. We had a comfortable life. but. Thanks to them, we're like, if we win this prize, we want to give back Absolutely. to them. And we wanted to represent Latinos. Yes. And we said at the, since the beginning, we want to be the first Hispanic team to win the amazing race. I love that. Yeah. Team well, to win I don't know how, I don't know how you do. I make it a point to not know, but I'm rooting for you. I and I hope it comes true. I'm I think you're you. lovely people. Yes. We're trying to be I, like you, Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> Probably champs up in here. Oh, so y'all not trying to be like me then, Louis. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. All right. You know what, Michelle, you just changed to my favorite person. Okay. <laughs> okay. Last question for me. Here's my last question. Of all the people on your season, who team or person would you most likely want to go out with for a beer? And or who would you throw in that? Like, who would you happily never see again? Should you feel like sharing that information as well? And depending uh, on the week. Great question. Michelle, it could be. We Everybody's been so great. So we've already had a drink with Molly and Q. Oh, 
Uh, nice. Molly, we hang out with her one time. Yes. Q as well. We yes. had a great time. Anybody who's yes. coming to Miami is coming out. We're going out to win one. Rex Ryan. Okay. Nice. Just nice. I got Rex for sure parties. He's out of Nashville. He says he's on, on the broad Broadway, right? Broadway all the time. And Rex Ryan, that's my answer. Okay. Well, I have a house in Boca, so I'm down in Florida a lot. So I will make the quick drive oh, to Miami and we'll go out and party it up. I'm in, New, I'm in New York, but we have a house yes. in Boca. So I'm down oh, there awesome. several awesome. months out of the year. I'm so a I will... station in Boca. We're Palm Beach County, yeah. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, right there. Right, right we're there. gonna hang out. Come we're hang out. out. <laughs> yes. And then I guess for our final question, what I want to know is who is the better cook? This guy. Oh. Okay, listen, I, okay. I actually told him this today. I made him something and I was like, just letting you know, I hate to cook. And I say it all the time and he's like, but you cook so good. I'm like, I'm not saying that I don't. I know I do, but I hate it. Start <laughs> cooking worse. Make it bad so he doesn't That's strategy. want it. That's why you want an amazing race because you know strategy, bro. Um, yeah, I've been in a fire, I've been in a fire station in the fire station for 13 years, so uh, it's it's crazy just the the difference uh the different personalities and cultures you pretty much live with in a firehouse and you cook three meals a day with these guys and you just learn yeah. and yeah and my dad my dad was the cook of the house so my okay. mom was just laid back laying down <laughs> waiting for him to cook so I, I was enjoy, like, I, I was hoping for that yeah. from him too yeah I enjoy cooking but she when she wants to she <laughs> she does like she doesn't like she doesn't want to cook. But when she does, like if I had a long day at the station, I'm working. Uh, it's amazing. I love the way she cooks. So, what uh, what was your thought on when you got there and Phil said it's no elimination legs? Dude, that that <laughs> was that was wild. And the whole time we're thinking, why is there 12 teams? Oh, here we go. That's why <laughs> we need to fill those 12 episodes somehow. Um, and. And yeah, just the challenge of knowing that there's no second chances. You guys heard all the cliche, cliches. No second chances. You can't come mm -hmm. in last. You can't mess up. And, but it's crazy being there, hearing it, go. I actually, yeah, what I actually told him was like, I don't like it because it's happening to us. But truthfully, the way that I see it is if you got home, if you got there last, you should go home. Like, you made the mistake, you, whatever it was that you got to the end, you should go home, even if it's us, but that's what I think. But it's scary. Yeah. But that first day, that, that first leg was close. Especially <laughs> when you don't know where anybody else is. That's gotta be really hard on a first leg. I was saying to Bryce, our last leg was like that in Chicago where you had to go three places, but in any order that you wanted, and we didn't know where anyone else was. So I'm yeah. saying to him, with a dozen teams not knowing where anyone else is, or if you see someone, have they done one task or two tasks so far? Exactly. That has got to be the most nerve wracking feeling. So I give you guys a lot of credit because it's a very it hard crazy. first episode. It was crazy. And just talking about that first leg, like like we felt all right. Uh, looking back at it, our, our uh, the, the order in which we did them in was the worst order. Yeah. Only Austin and Nina did the same order as we did. <laughs> And we that worked out like, well for them. Yeah, yeah, we got we went to roll, going from roll to back to uh to the keg challenge to, to I'm sorry, from going from saw oh, to roll God. traffic. Mm -hmm. Going from saw a uh, roll to the finish line traffic. Mm -hmm. We're back in the city. It was the most distance. It, yeah, it wasn't a good order, but we still got there. We're like we we got we did get lost for a, a little bit at the end. But we were like we're all right. And Phil goes your team number 10. I'm like he was upset. He was upset. So it was a tough life. But what is crazy about this year is there's no one that's terrible at navigation. So you'll see someone fussing over two, five, ten minutes, but everybody gets there. Yeah, that last It's leg. not like yeah. in other seasons where it's like an hour and you're still safe. No, it's like, like Q and Maddie got lost last episode, but truthfully, they went to a place that was ten minutes away from where they were in Germany. Wow. So by the time they got back, they probably lost 15, 20 minutes. That's why they were towards the end. Did you but... guys think they were going home, Maddie and Q? I didn't I, think so. I, I knew when they that had was... that dance challenge, I was like, oh no, Q, well, they going to be stitched. Right? So, when I saw Rex and Tim doing the bills for like the 14th or 27th, something absurd, I was like, okay. And then they sent uh, Rich and Dom back to go get the hat. And then I was like, okay, there's enough things going on. Yes. That I think Quentin and Maddie are probably okay, especially because at that point we knew there was a dance challenge. Mm -hmm. And just like you guys, they were going to fly right through it. And so 
I was very pleased that they didn't go home because they are very lovely people. Yeah, yeah, I love them. And just like like what we said about that, like we were, we thought we were going to be closer in the first leg and we were 10th. And as we were running up to the map, we see four teams with Phil. Wow. So That's they hard. were visible, they were close. And it's like, there's, there, there's no chance for you to mess up in navigation because everyone is good. Everyone studied. You know, so it, it, it's tough. Yeah. It's, and, it's and tough we were, competition. I want to say we were maybe like five or ten minutes ahead of Aubrey and David, and they beat Austin and Nina by three minutes. It, yeah. it was – I feel like a lot of seasons there's always one team that's at the hours behind yeah. <laughs> the first, in the first leg, but not this season. So yeah. I tell Brooke, um, I'm new to the Amazing Race watching, but one of my theories is, is that, like, I'm very happy with how you guys place – first episode because i always have the theory that like if you do really good in the, the beginning then there's such a huge target on your back and mm -hmm. there's more of a chance that you'll kind of like fall but when you kind of start where you guys did i feel like one us as the fans can root for you and you only get better with time in my opinion so i'm team miami for life so don't oh. make don't listen <sighs> Do, do don't let him down me. don't let me down okay i love that michelle's like pressure pre this is yes. right. even though i can't, can't change the outcome, outcome now i mean who knows what happened but you're but, stressing her out this is regardless like how y'all do i'm rooting for y'all but i really Same. do feel like when you do like come in number 10 on the first one it's you know i gotta do better you gotta do better and there's yes. less of like people don't see you as a threat so yeah. I'm Team Miami for life. Thank you. Yeah. And we were so proud. Like this, ex, the second, the second leg. You know, I, I, I told Mich like I was not happy after the first leg. I'm a very positive, very. I was quiet. I was mad. And I felt like I let everyone down. I actually and told him. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I was like, every time we get to the end of the map, we're dancing. We're like, yeah. oh, oh, we're not last. And he, he said, and, ten, I'm like, yeah. He was like, and I was like, come on, dance with me. And he's like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was in a bad, like I was in a funk for a while and thank God for this woman. She got me out of it. She got me out of it. We talked it through. We went back to the hotel. We, we got our spirits back up and, and the next episode, you guys see me in, in like, where are we going to go? Like, we're ready. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. You're doing your best Arnold impersonation. We got yeah. it. We yeah. saw it. It was good. It was you know, good. It's, oh. that's, that's, she knows that. Yeah. that when I'm in a happier state, I perform better. That's yeah. how I am. Yeah. And and it was such a great leg. We 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 killed the roadblock, killed the detour, we killed the navigation. I don't care what the end says. <laughs> and and we made it and we made it to the end. We killed five spots and, and we're so happy right yeah. now. And we, we finished. It's crazy because fifth place doesn't sound great, but from where we started yeah. to where we finished or that second leg. We were ecstatic, and, and let's keep it rolling. We'll yeah. see. Anything but last is all that matters. That's, That's what right. you need to remember. That's as right. long as you get to keep racing. I get you, Brooke, but so, I, just, like, <laughs> I want that first. Well, I'm with you. I, I was just okay. as bad when we were done yes. with you. Don't worry. Arnold's impressed. Oh. <laughs> By the way, in the car, he was doing Arnold the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole time. And I'm like, wait, is Arnold from Austria? I'm not even sure anymore. No, you had it. So I'm like, it. oh, no. I hope Arnold's from Austria. If not, I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> You know, I was just, just the whole like, time I was Arnold. Arnold, I'm coming. <laughs> I was going to ask, I was going to ask Michelle to yodel us out, but I think I'm just going to ask Lewis to Arnold us out. I feel like yep. this is great. <laughs> thank you for like, just thank you for joining us. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much. We're rooting for you. And this has been our Purple Pants coverage of <laughs> Amazing Race Season 34. And we team Miami. Yes, I love your podcast. Enjoyed it so much. So yes. thank you so much. Thanks guys for the support. We love you guys. You guys thank you guys. Awesome. Awesome. It's the purple pants, it's the purple pants, it's the purple pants podcast. You better get your headphones in, listen up quick. Ooh. It's the purple pants podcast. You better listen in public, might make your stomach hurt. Ooh. It's the purple pants podcast. You're trying to unwind, you better get that box wine. It's the purple pants podcast. You're trying to get your snack, you better hurry right back though. It's the purple pants, it's the purple pants.